Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Liberal New Yorkers are angry after what just showed up on street corner for Trump. Uh oh, liberals are once again upset. This time, as Breitbart reports, the focus of their ire is a conservative artist who had the audacity to erect a 20-foot pro-Trump display on the front lawn of one of his clients' homes in Staten Island. The Trump art along with a crying De Niro was put up on an unidentified client's front lawn on Harris Avenue this earlier this week. Here's my display to provoke emotion, and they love it, Lobito said, referring to people around the neighborhood. The owner loves it so much, he apparently put up cameras to keep it safe, he put up security cameras all around the house. We have a fence here. And everybody in the neighborhood is on watch, the artist added. The unnamed owner of the property has reason to be nervous since Lobito's last piece which was a large tea lawn sign which was erected in Staten Island right before the 2016 election in support of President Trump went up in flames. Staten Island is one of the few New York areas where Donald Trump was able to beat Hillary Clinton in the 2016 presidential election. President Trump got 57 percent of the vote compared to Clinton's 40 percent. Although Clinton was able to win the state convincingly with 59 percent compared to Trump's 37. Not a huge surprise since the state of New York is responsible for giving us someone like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez who has proven in interview after interview that she's not even fit, or educated enough to run a lemonade stand. Here is more on Lobito via the scottlobito.com. Throughout my 50 years, people have often said I was born in the wrong era. Long fascinated by post-World War II America, Glamour Girls, the Rat Pack, big band music, and all things classic Americana. I've always loved strong cultural symbolism. Time though, especially for an artist, is an interesting thing. Art for us exists in and long past neatly defined eras. Brushes and strokes can transcend time and wind effortlessly through the past, present, and future. For me, art is the greatest time traveler. It is also the simplest and most universal of statements, I am here. We are here. And it is our greatest hope to preserve our work for future generations, that will be here. With my art. I've sought to make a difference in the world as a man and as an American. Whether a boomer, Gen Xer, or millennial, it's easy in modern times to forget the origins of our prosperity and freedom. The wondrous and instant nature of our technology and culture can make it easy to forget how we got here. And so I became fascinated with preserving the symbols of the countless brave Americans who stood, fought, marched, and sacrificed so much for our livelihood. I am no history scholar but I sense in the basics of my being. Preserving our past is the truest way to honor our future. For 10 straight months during my last 50 states tour, my artwork promoted patriotism without the use of political rhetoric deliberately. As I trekked solo on an incredible grassroots journey, El eagerly soaked in veterans, families, passerbys and our collective stories mile by mile. By the end of it, I had painted a U.S. flag rooftop mural in every single state. Artistically I left a small token of preserved American symbolism behind but the veterans I saluted left even more with me. Never once on did we mention the labeling words of Republican or Democrat. It was bigger than the labels. It was about we the people. It was about pride, honor, and appreciation for all Americans who served our nation. Patriotism is about all of us. And it can't be hijacked by a rhetoric, politicians, differences, or warring ideologies. The great thing about America is the fact that it can always be better, and our gift is that we the people have the freedom to make it better. Anyone who knows me knows I passionately advocate for the First Amendment. I encourage us all to passionately question, protest, express, assemble, and petition, but always, always be grateful that you can. As Americans, our past and future are intrinsically intertwined. While traveling from state to state and painting American art, some saw a crazy man coloring rooftops in their community, others saw an artist with a singular red, white, and blue obsession. But this simple man is on a mission greater than myself and past my own era, and the decades before. While sitting in a quiet campsite, with soft Idaho soil caked underneath my boots, I realized who I am, just one of the electricians, in a long line of creative light bearers, connecting one wire to the next, and keeping the lights on. What a great citizen who let this wonderful artist display his artwork. In a day when most of us wouldn't dare walk out of our homes with a Trump hat or shirt, or even slap a Trump bumper sticker on our cars, this Staten Island citizen is standing up for all of us. If only the rest of us would have this person's guts the liberals wouldn't stand a chance. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.